Hello, my name is Faithless John. Here is uh, my video answer um, for the part one of the step two creative project. So let's first about what it what I learned about the definition of the creativity that, that I didn't know before is that the creativity depends on the two things, which is relevancy and novelty. And I read about it uh, from the text in the canvas by Stephen Diazio. Uh, so relevancy, which means that actually part of solving, while novelty, which means that uh, doing a something that has not been expected or done before. So it was a something new that I have learned about the definition of the creativity in this class. So uh, when it comes to the myths that uh, most surprised me is actually from the past podcast of the David Brookers, uh, when he says that uh, entrep entrepreneurship is not reserved for startups. So it's it surprised me most because I personally thought that uh, many inventions uh, like the area of the entrepreneurship is mainly dependent on the startups but as he says in the podcast like entrepreneurship is everywhere and in different fields so so uh, I will so as we know like creativity is important to all companies and organizations just let's take first example of the tesla so what did tesla do was uh, doing a something new right uh, making the electric cars cars which many people uh, let's say ignored to believe on it so it did a invention creating the electric cars and it was a successful project which led the Tesla to be the, let's say, the most expensive car company. I mean that when, the, when we combine other, with the value of the other car companies, it wouldn't be as worth as much as the Tesla is. So it's a big thing new. Second of all, uh, second example would be, let's take the Alibaba, the company, which has started as a book, um, book, elect book started to sell a book online in the China and become one of the popular after Amazon uh, e-commerce source so for example uh, let's say Jack Ma once himself said that don't try to be the best be the first so that's another example that why the creative being creative is important to companies and organizations so uh, in terms of what are two common approach to creative thinking so uh, according to the youtube video that i uh, just uh, saw so creative two common approach of the creative thinking is divergent thinking and convergent thinking divergent thinking is a something like a uh, thinking big uh, looking for many diverse and novel alternatives while convergent thinking is uh, focusing on one thing on one novel and special thing novel and special thing so here are the two most important most common approaches when it comes to the creative thinking so one real world example of the creative change process is that uh, the advent of the working from home, working online, let's say, from company work to the online from home work, right? So the of course, by far the most important factor of the working from home, working online was the COVID-19 and because of the pandemic companies many of the companies decided to work to employ their employees from their home online in order to keep them safe and employed at the same time 
but it has led to massive change in the working industry and you know because of it now you can work from anywhere in the world in the top companies and even in the you are in the middle east you can work in the one of the top companies of the united states and it's a uh, moreover it helped uh, current employees to switch to the working from home and of course saving some money i mean like many people have already for example moved from san francisco to different different cheap states uh, to save the money so this is the end of the video speech part one thank you